Hi, this is Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. I'm still a little emotional, so. But anyway, the second dream I had was for someone who has strayed from God. <clears throat> kind of a prodigal son type thing. This was a young man who visited his grandmother quite often and stayed with her a lot. His grandmother was crazy about him. And in this dream, this is about how the love of family who were in Christ, how their love overcomes the obstacle of a demonic trap. You're trapped right now. This, I'm talking to that son. That son may represent a woman, a man, a boy, a girl, and a senior, whatever. This is symbolic. There are people in your life that truly love you, that are truly connected to God. You have turned a blind eye to them proverbially put up the hand and said, talk to the hand. I don't want to hear that God stuff. They tend to annoy you. You feel condemned and ashamed around them, so you don't go around them. But that's where the love is. You choose to live in the, in the trap, the snare, the pit that Satan has so carefully prepared for you. You know it's destroying you. It's scaring the crap out of you, but your pride will not allow you to go home. Whatever home represents. Now, in this dream, I talked to the grandmother, and she said, I've been looking for him, but I have to let him be. And she said, I love him so much, and I know he's done me wrong. I know the things he's done behind my back, but I love him, and I just want him to come back, all the way back, and I, of course, you know, she wanted him to be saved, because that's what the whole dream was about. Now, <clears throat> in this dream, the very next scene, the boy was in, it looked like a gigantic um, wheelbarrow. It almost, it was as big as a dumpster almost, as long as a dumpster, almost as wide. But he was tossed in that thing. However they got him in there, he was bound up. I mean, bound. Are you bound? Hmm. He was all bound up, and he was crying, and he was saying, Please, Master, please, Master, please, let me go. Please have mercy. Please don't hurt me, please. He was broken, and he was in some type of a, kind of a, not a fatigue, but overalls, like old overalls that great-grandpa would wear. It was dirty. He was dirty. He was, it was mangled. His hair was all stringy and curly and matted and and in places and dirty and and oh, he was dusty and dirty, and he was his face was soaked with tears, and he was petrified. The fear was overwhelming on his face. And he just kept saying, "Please have mercy, please." Then. He heard, check this out, he heard his father's voice. They happened to be in the same vicinity, and his father didn't know his son was in that wheelbarrow, whatever that contraption was. And he was about to be punished even worse. He was getting ready to go to a real bad place. And his father, I didn't see his father's face, but his father was off to the side. I knew he was there in the dream. I just knew it. His son cried out. 
his father heard his son's voice and his father came and picked him up unbound him set him loose picked him up and carried him into a building to hide him then i woke up when you hear your father's voice When you hear God come around you through a human being, through your whole spirit, through your conscience, whatever, when you hear God tugging at you, when you feel him pulling at your heartstrings and you know you are getting worse and worse and you know you are, are doing a downward spiral into the pit, the bottomless pit, the trap that Satan has set for you to destroy and kill you in, to hold you captive in, whether it's through drugs, whether it's through prostitution, whether it's through hatred, whether it's through unforgiveness, whether it's through bitterness, whether it's through anger or rage, whatever, uh, codependency, uh, bipolarism, whatever your case is. You're in a pit. When you hear God pulling at your heart, that's when you humble yourself and you cry out to God. Because that father wasn't going to be right there very long. And if that son hadn't called out in time, the father would have been down the street, out of ears, out of hearing range. Call on the Lord while he may be found. Now is the time, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised to you, baby. Now is the time. Call on the Lord while he may be found. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his path. Go to God now. Now. You cannot afford to wait. Tomorrow you may be dead. Call on him now before Satan convinces you to commit suicide. Whatever form that is. <laughs>